Hello, Mr. Ramshi. Welcome to your PDA. Let's start your snap entry on the subject uh, network analysis for your uh, ISRO interview preparation, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, Ramshi, please introduce yourself. Yes, I am Chinnamindu Ramshi. I come. Um, I completed my masters from NIT Varangal, and I completed my bachelor degree from Vasavi College of Engineering uh, in Electrical and Electronics Engineering. Uh, coming to um, my family details, my father is a farmer, and my mother is a homemaker. And I have two siblings. Come coming to my project details. I completed project on maximum power point track, power point tracking of PVRA using uh, Levy flight technique using with PSO. It uh, it, it is and coming to my BTEC project details. Multi level inverter with uh, uh, multi level inverter with capacitor switching for high frequency power distribution. Fine. See, take one uh, AC voltage source. Okay, sir. And connect one diode in series with that and close the circuit with help of inductor. Diode and inductor, sir? Yeah. Yeah, yes. Yeah, ideal diode, inductor is ideal, source is also ideal, everything is ideal. Okay, sir. In order, current in the circuit? Yeah, sir. Please draw it. So can I show? Yeah, please. Zero to two pi, sir. It is going. I mean, that's all. After two pi, it is not going to conduct. Yeah, it will conduct, sir. Means I, oh, I draw only one cycle. Mm -hmm. Again, but, uh, the diode uh, is going to be forward biased only for positive voltage, right? Yeah, but the inductor inductor stores that energy in release in pi to two pi means uh, pi to two pi. The voltage across the inductor should be means if if the diode is still on, the voltage should be negative on that means uh, in. See, try to explain slowly. Okay, sir. okay. My question is, voltage is alternating. Yes, sir. We have positive half cycle and negative half cycle. Yes, sir. For positive half cycle diode is going to conduct as it is forward biased, and voltage across inductor will be same as that of the input voltage. Yes, sir. Explain me what is happening from pi to two pi. Yes, sir. Pi to two pi means uh, uh, the pi is the voltage is zero, mm. and across that uh, half the pi means. Uh, the inductor means didn't get any voltage means inductor inductor due to diode we have to check the polarities means inductor polar voltage means suddenly voltage zero means after that uh, we have to check uh, means inductor have some current in that means uh, it accesses a current current source means it, is, it, acts, it accesses a source means have to, we have to check the polarities uh, after uh, pi to two pi, inductor has uh, inductor delivers uh, uh, power back to the source. At a pi, exactly what is happening? Pi inductor. See, you told few points. Let me ask those points. You are saying inductor is reversing its polarities, right? Yes, sir. Why inductor is reversing its polarities? Is my first question. Means. Uh, in, Means it's the circuit means just a circuit analysis means it had to supply the supply back to the source means we just uh, showing that is a reverse polarities means generally we have to take as a as the negative voltage otherwise same polarities with the negative voltage means fine let's uh, instead of inductor put capacitor there. In place yes. of inductor, put capacitor there and sketch the waveform. Okay, sir. 
sir only current and voltage both are you draw voltage across capacitor and current also both okay So it is also voltage. Okay. What about current? Current decreasing to zero, sir. Current is decreasing to zero. Okay. Fine. What is power factor? Means with capacitor or with this? No, no. Generally, what is power factor? I am not asking regarding that circuit. Generally, what is power factor? Power factor is the active power consumption to total. Uh, we means total power total power consumed by the circuit mm -hmm. so inductor does not allow sudden change in its current tell me whether this statement is correct or wrong ah uh, yes sir can yes. you justify why it is not allowing sudden change of current means v equal to l di by dt sir mm -hmm. If uh, we change suddenly, means uh, suddenly change the current di by dt suddenly increases, the voltage induced is very high. Means. Di by dt is suddenly increasing. Why? Means we can't put suddenly. Mean we can't suddenly change. Means if dt. What do, what do you mean by sudden change? Means abrupt. Means if if we take the uh, abrupt change, means zero to i means suddenly. Zero to I not mean within zero plus to zero, zero to zero plus. It can't means inductor. Inductor means if, if the current flow through the inductor, it one one direction the current will set up. Means if we suddenly change the current to another direction, means some other mean if I have to increase up the change, uh, means suddenly that uh, around the means if the current uh, current flow into the inductor means there is a magnetic field set up around the conductor. Okay. That uh, that field there suddenly it can't change suddenly can't increase it to some some point means it has some tendency to do. fine take some DC current source DC current source okay sir and connect the one switch in the open mode in series with that current source sir I didn't understand in the connect one switch okay in open mode keep the switch open until unless, unless I say Keep the, up till then. You keep the switch open. Yes. Sir. Then you connect one resistance in series with the switch. Resistance. Okay, sir. Then close the circuit with help of capacitor. Okay. 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 Just wait. Yes, sir. No. Yeah. Then sketch voltage across capacitor waveform. Okay, sir. And initial voltage across capacitor is uh, take take it as some five volt. Initial voltage across capacitor is some five volt. Okay, sir. Hello, sir. Yeah. Can I show it, sir? Yeah, please. Okay. So, if I remove the resistance, is is there any change of voltage across capacitor? No, sir. Hello, sir. Fine, fine. Okay. What is time constant? Yeah, the time constant is. Uh... Means there is no effect of resistance. Means ca time constant is. Uh... Hello, 
Tell me. Sir? Does the capacitor will reach to steady state in this circuit or it will never reach steady state? No, it will not reach the steady state, sir. Okay. Now I want to make the capacitor to reach to steady state. Means I want to capacitor to have means we have a voltage and I have to stop at that voltage. Then what are the changes you suggest in that circuit? Putting the resistor parallel to the capacitor. Put a resistance parallel to capacitor and explain that circuit, please. No, sir, that will also as uh, me put actually. So that will also increase in some. Yeah, Vamshi, let me give you feedback. Vamshi, yes, let me come from the last circuit. In the last circuit, if you put a resistance across the current source or capacitor. Yes, sir. So you told you are going to put a resistance across the capacitor, okay. but you have to put resistance across the current source. Yes, sir. It has an axle, acts like a Voltage. Voltage, voltage source in series with the resistance. If yes. you apply source transfer, then it is going to settle to a some final value. Okay, sir. right? Yes. And R, if you put volt across uh, this uh, resistance also, capacitor sorry, across this capacitance also, remove the capacitor, and then you find the Thevenin's equivalent resistance that will be R T H only. Okay, yes. remove capacitor. Apply Thevenin's equivalent, then current source will be open. Then your equivalent resistance is RTH, that R, and in series with R, that is floating as uh, current source is open circuit. You have particular value of R, and you have the current also. Yes. Right? But you can't apply source transformation there directly. Now, let us analyze, analyze that circuit. Let, uh, let us analyze that circuit. Okay. Initially, capacitor is short circuit a total current will go through capacitor right yes, yes sir imagine that it reaches to steady state imagine okay then total current will go through the resistor what you connected across the capacitor as capacitor is behaving as open circuit yes sir then how much will be the voltage that is that is present across the resistance i into r that resistance what you connected if your capacitor achieves that uh, voltage of I into R, then it reaches to steady state. Why? Right? Because the voltage across the capacitor is I into R. The current that is flowing in the resistance is I. Therefore, its voltage is I into R. Both the voltages are equal. Therefore, further capacitor will not charge. Therefore, we can say that it reaches to steady state. Either you can put resistance across capacitor or across uh, current source. Both are correct. Right? And see, Bamshi, you have good skill, but uh, you are unable to present that one in the right direction. You are not in a position to uh, explain the circuit, but the waveforms you are drawing correctly, okay. right? And uh, I asked about uh, uh, does inductor allow do does inductor does not allow sudden change in its current? The statement is correct. Inductor does not allow sudden change in its current Why? because if you want sudden change. Sudden change means sudden means within zero time. If anything, if you want to change it within zero time, V is equal to L di by dt, that a dt is going to be zero. Suddenly, ideally, suddenly means within zero time. If dt is zero, something by zero will be infinite, but the voltage across inductor required is infinite. Okay. So practically that much voltage is not possible for us. Therefore, it is not possible for us to change current through inductor suddenly. This, this is mathematical interpretation. Okay. Another physical way of interpretation is, and see, 
no energy will change suddenly any energy suppose if you have fan in your room that fan is not going to stop suddenly if you switch it off it will take some time because it is already having some kinetic energy stored in its rotor body right it will take some time same way energy also any energy will not change suddenly yes. but energy of a inductor formula is what half l square energy of inductor is depending upon current as energy is not changing therefore sudden change of current is not accepted or not possible it's not the matter of accepting or not accepting sudden change of energy is not possible therefore sudden change of current is not possible vamshi you are drawing what the waveforms you drawn are perfectly right okay right? but you are not in a position to explain the concept in correct way okay so, there should be base when you are if you drawn something okay just solving the circuit is different from understanding and explaining it right yeah you was asking something please go ahead so how can i explain after pi 2 to pi the inductor how? yes actually at a pi the input voltage is becoming zero and after that it is becoming negative right yes sir means uh, the source voltage is negative at the pi the current achieved by the inductor is maximum it is some value maximum value yes sir but what we expect is the current to become zero but suddenly current through inductor will not change it may change gradually at the at the pi if you see at pi if you see the current is maximum in the waveform what you draw yes sir your inductor your input voltage is zero input voltage is zero therefore diode has to reverse bias why because after zero it is going to enter into negative region right Yes, sir. But inductor is not accepting that one. Why? Because inductor want the current to flow continuously up to some time. Why? Because it does not allow sudden change in its current. Yes, sir. right. Therefore, inductor is going to reverse its polarities, and that voltage of the inductor is adding, getting aided with this input voltage. Input voltage is negative. Inductor voltage is positive. Both voltages will add, and the resultant voltage is going to be positive. That resultant positive voltage is getting applied across diode. Diode is still in forward bias. and uh, inductor current in the inductor is flowing but it is reducing gradually okay sir. right so you are using the points but not in right way you are saying uh, inductor reverses polarities but you are stopping over there why inductor is reversing its polarities because inductor does not allow sudden change in its current therefore inductor has to support for the further conduction okay sir. right 